I'm Terry Walker, and this is my scrapyard. Morning, boss. Hey, right, Coxey. Trying to brew? Cup of tea, please. Happy days. There's profit in every ounce of a scrap car. Yeah, 50 quid, pal. I buy them, strip them, squash them, and then flog the lot. What a good day. <laughs> I started the yard over 20 years ago, a few years after I met Lindsay, the wife. Don't go mad with spending money. Can I spend it on you, then? Oh, yeah, no problem. You just make money out. It's just this knack he's got. I do it by employing lads that no-one else will. Individually, they're good lads, they're all right. But together, they're just like a load of hyenas. <laughs> it's like a circus sometimes. <laughs> You've got to keep laughing, cos if you don't, you'll cry. We're these tires! Move on! I won't have the Mickey took out of me. If they do that, they're history. There's more cars to come like, up. Get them sorted! If they're sure willing, and, they've got, and, I, and I can see something in them, I won't give up on them easily. Can't get a job nowhere else. Nowhere else will have me. It's the Metro family, and it's the family that I've created from scratch. It's coming to the end of a tough year, but with Christmas round the corner, business in the biggest scrapyard in the northwest is finally on the up. I can see the lorries coming through with the vehicles on the back. The engines are rolling out, the iron yell is rolling out, and that's all you can ask for, really. Very busy at the yard at the minute. It is fair to say it's running a little bit better now. He's been a good boy at once. Well, it couldn't be better, really. It's a really good end to the year. Terry and Lindsay are on a mission to end the year with their business in profit and plan for the future. I want to see us in ten years' time a lot more relaxed than we are now. That's what I want. And maybe, fingers crossed, we will be. But Terry has other ideas. If I could sell every single part in here, I could retire tomorrow, couldn't I? But I wouldn't. Too boring, sat at home, I'd feel guilty, I'd die of guilt. Lindsay has finally got him running the yard the way she wants. But will she ever get him to slow down? Come on, get him shifted! It's the week before Christmas, and now that things in the yard are ticking over nicely, Boss Terry has some time on his hands. But rather than put his feet up and enjoy the fruits right. of his labour... Come through here, Coxey! Start here! He's branching out. We just took a consignment of uh, salt, 20 tonne of rock salt and 800 snow shovels. So what we're going to do is sell it for less than half of what it's costing in, um, in the big stores. It's probably bored. He needs another buzz. And that's what, that is definitely what it is. He's got to be doing something, spending. Our Lindsay said in the shops now, these are between eight and ten pound each. But you can get one today for five pounds. Oh, I'll have to keep my eye on that bank account. All the salt, the shovels, all ready for the air. Bad weather, then snow comes. Holy boy, at least it won't be no snow. <laughs> It is definitely going to snow very, very soon. We've, uh, we've been checking the weather daily. Whoa! It doesn't matter what it is, if there's a, if there's a, a profit in it, it's got to be bought, hasn't it? In fact, it could do with another lorry load. Along with 20 tonnes of salt and 800 snow shovels, there's another addition to the yard. But this one is less likely to be making them money. Right, come on. So you happy to be back then, or what? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Christmas is on the yeah, corner, Christmas ain't bad right boy. Corner. Back Get some money in. Family, innit? Me. Terry has decided to give Boyle one last chance after he was sacked for pinching some scrap metal from the yard a few weeks ago. Yeah, lift it and pull it, cos you're stuck on the edge, now. As punishment, Terry's assigned him a tough job to organise engines for an export order under little Dave's supervision. No, oh, this is coming out. Oh, yeah, it's got green paint on it. You've got to buckle down, mate, being every day. 
don't be late. Not like he was this morning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> slowly, slowly. I think he's rubbed a lot of people up the wrong way, hasn't he? Including me. But I'm glad to have Boyle back as long as he's here to work and not mess about. Because as soon as he starts messing about, I don't want to know. Well, it's important, isn't it? I'm just not, not going to do anything. I've not touched nothing. I'm just, you know, doing everything he says. I'm not a kid no more, am I? Yeah, I'm going to be a good lad now. All right, Mr Sandman, here's the money what we agreed on. It's all there, then, yeah? Yeah, it's all there, mate, yeah. Spend it wisely. Will do. Yeah? Use the sun wisely. I printed them myself this morning. Good, man. I made that at the beach. <laughs> I'll see you, see you later, pal. See you later. Terry's paid £1,200 for 20 tonnes of salt. He wants to sell each bag for £4, which means this deal could make him almost three grand profit. But... He's not going to just sit back and wait for the snow. Instead, he's already hatching another little plan. And he's roping in Natalie, the finance assistant. I've got an idea that's going to get the van to come back in the yard. Hold on, then. A calendar for Christmas. What, what, what do you mean? What, what are just, like, car parts or something? Yeah, yeah. Just, just Some, parts or people? A themed semi-nude calendar covering our nuptials with car parts. So, like, you might... Dress up in a rara skirt or something like that, and you know, walk down the yard with just some pit boots on and, a, and an hat. Don't be daft. I'm not being in that. You don't want to be in it. No, I think it should just. See be, what I mean? Just the Why? I'm not really being that. naked. Am I being direct? Can that's I, what I'm. That's what I'm here now to ask you to do. If you want to spearhead that. No, we're So okay? I can tell these lads like you're doing this and you're wearing this. Yes. That's the one. Are you going to get quite a few of these calendars and, like, sell them? Uh, maybe, yeah. I'm, think... not, I'm not paying top dollar for them. No, we'll get you a price. Yeah. I'll have buy one of them. Would we'll you? have one in here. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. I need to organise who's going to be in it first. Um, cos I don't think many of them are going to be willing to take the kit off without a bit of uh, gentle persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He's actually strange. Very strange. It does sound uh, like one of Terry's ideas because it's out the normal. Guys, are you up for getting your kit off? You know what? I've just had the nickel pierced as well. Have you? That's, oh, right to go. that's a good one. That's <laughs> right to go. I did it. I did it. I don't know you got to get on it, haven't you? It's all about the morale boosting. Give us a bit, gone, of, gone bit, down, bit, bit of time, cos I'll get spray tan on and all that. No, no worries, mate. Get yeah. a spray tan, get the, get the nails done and that. Well, know. get get ready, cos it's happening. When? It's happening. But are you putting your name down? Yeah, yeah. Put, I thought de you were. Definitely put me down. Yeah, yeah. I'm a team player, me same all day. Same here, same here. Lindsay is trying to get Terry to think more about their future and less about the yard. Hey, right, Terry, you all right? How are you, Paul? Long time no see. Hi, Lynn. Hey, okay. yeah, right. hey, you. She's brought into a plot of land they own to go through designs for the luxury five bedroom house they hope to build there. You're about four and a half thousand square feet now. It's big enough, isn't it? Yeah. It's about three times your average executive house. Yeah. I mean, that's massive. You've got three piece suites in there as well. Obviously, we started off with nothing. Nothing. He was on the doll, and I had three jobs. And to actually complete this, you know, and just make it, that would be Terry's marking Bolton of how well he's done and how he's succeeded. Built in 2014 by Terry Walker, you know, good. This will be absolutely brilliant when it's done. It'll be beautiful. You know, it's a one-off, bit like us. <laughs> <laughs> Thing is, once it's completed, You'll have to have a little bit less time off work and enjoy it, won't you? I'm of the opinion that to have your mind occupied doing something is better to the, than to be away from, you know, and be bored. I, I wouldn't mind. You, you could have your mind occupied though. There's loads to do. It'd be nice. Yeah, there'll be lots to do here. You've got to as enjoy well. it if you're going to do all this work. Their dream house will take over two years to build. Lindsay's plan to get Terry to slow down will probably take a bit longer. I've come a long way from um, ready-made curtains from Pound Stretcher, though, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> There's only a few days till Christmas, 
and Terry wants to try and shift his consignment of rock salt before the end of the year. So he's decided to send a few lads out selling it door to door. Go on and get your rock salt, rock salt, go on and get your rock salt. It's the perfect opportunity for Boyle to redeem himself. We can sell snow to Eskimos, us, mate. We can sell ice to the ice road truckers. <laughs> I love, um, I'm supplying all the schools and nurseries this year with um, the rock salt. Do you need any? Okay, no problem, thank you. Bye, bye. Just wondering if you're interested in buying any rock salt. Okay, no problem, thank you very much. Bye, bye. You're terrible, mate. Terrible. It's not a promising start, but Boyle is undeterred and determined to prove himself. I love. Um, I spoke to a guy called Tony yesterday on um, about some grit salt. Um, I'm dropping it off today. Right, so that's Bolton Blinds. That we still ain't been there yet. We need to go there. We're up at a gym. There'll be no foggy gym. <laughs> yeah. Boxing gym. You want some bags and all, mate? Right. So. How many bags? Ten. I'm just waiting for his reply now. They've yet to sell any. But they're already considering a drop in price. Ten bags in it, 30 quid. We're just going to have to do that today, deals. Ten bags, 30 quid, ten bags, 30 quid in it. <laughs> nice one, yeah. Thanks for that. Can't be a breakfast for dinner, can you, mother? Uh -huh. In the yard, Natalie is also trying the hard sell. Is that door open? She's recruiting for the calendar, but she's up against some tricky customers. Alvin? Yes? Have you heard about Terry's calendar? You just pick a month, take your kit off, job's a good one. So, do you want to do it? Hmm. Come on. Not really. What do you mean? No. Rock salt, rock salt, come and get your rock salt. Who's this place now? This is a, a nursery dish. She's called Claire. Sounds pretty fit as well, Paul. Like, so we might, you know, might be in there with numbers and that, eh? Who is it? Right, I'll go in and sort the deal out, you know, because she did speak to me. Hey, up, hold on. Uh, is it Claire, yeah? No, it's Sam. No, Sam. Yeah, all yeah, right. There you go. Right, I'll just give you the ten bags. Where do you want them? Um, in there, please. In that? Yeah. In that, right, all right, we'll put them in there. That's what, it's ten bags, Lee. Yeah, you give them in and I'll put them down. Uh, I don't know, one minute. Yeah. All right, thank you very much, Sam. Yeah, see you later. Yeah, we am on making around 500 pence a day, if not more. <laughs> Made off us 30 quid, though, just then, didn't we? Yep, first job. First job, 30 quid. Hey, hello. Lee, um, he's in truck. Just wondering if you want any grit salt. Um, Ten bags for 30 quid. Ten bags oh, for 30. Or five for 15 quid. Shall I ask Mike and we might have five? Yeah. Five. We'll go for what, five. five each? Yeah. All right, there's your other bag, Sue. Quid. So we've sold half a pallet. It's hundred quid, it's not a lot, but you know, it's better than nothing, isn't it? It'll still be happy with it. What the heck are you doing? Whoa, Ooh. yes, that'll do. Do you want it? Do you want it? Nice. Oh. Don't chuck up, all gone. Oh, Nobody's wanting spares, though, so we've got a lot of spares in. Well, you're on it now. We'll give you that end of the day because you'll spend it. And Foyle, yeah, I'm dead pleased with him at the moment, but you know, I don't like saying things like that because it just tempts fate. When you say, oh, yeah, I'm dead pleased yeah, with him, okay. next minute he's doing something wrong, like Boyle, driving Boyle. Lee's truck now. Boyle's been out this morning and he's just got a nice little wad on him there. I thought, what a good day. I'll see how long it lasts, sir. Yeah, yeah, very, uh, you're very optimistic, aren't you, Lindsay? Not with Boyle on that. No. Don't worry, we'll give you some money later. We've got plenty of money for you in a bit. Hi, Lee. Hi, Natalie. Right. Terry has just come up with this uh, idea right. of a semi-naked calendar. Hi. 
So basically, you want me to get my kit off, get it yard? Yeah. And pause? Yeah. For the calendar? Yeah. In my hometown? Yeah. Are you for real? No, come on. Oh, my God, uh, listen. Or a wing mirror. I'll or... come here to sell parts, mate. Money, not do calendars. Who comes up with these ideas? Terry, you know what he's like. What month can I put you down for? Cos if you just say no, I'll just put you down anywhere. Um, what's left? What's March, left? April, May, <laughs> June, July, August, September, October and November and so December. Yeah, I'll be July. Terry's definitely going to be January. You know, he can be on front of the cover. Terry's on another mission to make some quick cash. Right, Dave. Before the yard closes for Christmas. Get stuck into them, get it all clear. He wants to separate out the alloy and the metal wheels they've been collecting and then cash them in. Alloy wheels, £10 a piece, roughly, roughly. All the alley wheels are mixed in with the steel wheels, so we've got two skips down there that need filling. Get some money in. We used to fill a skip per week with about three tonne in it, so that's three grand. The metal wheel rims, that's only £150 a tonne at the moment, so... But you still, you get seven tonne in there. It's about a grand, something like that, 1,500 quid sometimes. It's better than a kick-up back to that. But as the day draws to a close, there's only one topic of conversation. Dave! Listen, Mara. Are you doing this shoot, you or what? What's that, mate? This pink calendar thing. Naked. This is what I'm saying. Don't forget, these calendars, they're going out round, you know, Bolton and Manchester and whatnot, are they? We'll be laughing stop, bro. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not... Got a rep, me, Mario. I'm, I am as well, mate. I'm not up for that, mate. See you in a bit, Mario. It's a bit OTT, that, isn't it? Naked. Foxy! What do you think about this calendar, Mario? Just the calendar, isn't it? So you're going to get all your kit off? Yeah. I don't mind, All your kit? Yeah. Yeah, man. You can only live up once in life, so you might as well get to do what you can. Oh, yeah, man, yeah, man. With just one day to go before the big photo shoot, Natalie is worried about the turnout. Everybody, all the lads, they don't, they don't want to do it. It's been a nightmare. They, they don't they... want to do it? No. It's not rocket science. Just take no. a photo with a part in their arm. So, tomorrow will be fun. You could possibly see me tearing me out. Oh dear, why do I always get them much tangled up? Oblivious to the problems with the calendar, Terry's at home and wrapped up in another idea. I've just decided to surprise our Lindsay. She knows I'm up to summer, because she come before, she said, why have you got a cheeky face? Do you look like you're up to summer? I said, I'm not, I'm just putting a few old lights up. But um, she thinks I've paid $9.99 for them. So she doesn't realise how, how many's going up. All together now, I think there's about three and a half thousand bulbs. I'm sick of Rudolph. Oh my god. What are you thinking? It's like bloody Santa's grotto. Look what we've done for you. Oh my god. Nine ninety nine. Well, listen, Al. Yeah, at blog. <laughs> You've done a good job. Yeah. I pay this electric bill, you know. All LEDs. Oh, are great. Yeah. <laughs> right, do you like it then? It's lovely. Right, give us a power up then. <laughs> Ain't worthwhile that. Just to yeah. get that. <laughs> You know what's appertaining today, don't you? Yeah, yeah, uh, photo shoot, innit? Most of the lads are reluctant to take part in Terry's calendar shoot, but Boyle is keen to keep in the boss's good books. It's all right, I'll get my kegs off. <laughs> yeah, what about young Dave? Do you think he'll be up for it? I don't oh, know. I don't know. Yeah, your face is looking a bit beat, right? Yeah, yeah. I've been on sunbeds, and I, 12 and a half minutes. Are you sure you're only on that sunbed for 12 and a half minutes? Yeah. I went on last night, though, for 10 as well, didn't I? Yeah. Look like you've got a strawberry on your nose. Know. <laughs> got some, got some cream for that. <laughs> <laughs> one by one, the lads are coming round to the idea. Right, so you're doing it. What's your pose going to be? I ain't got a clue. 
I don't know. See, it started off where the bottoms were on, then it were half naked, then he might have Oh, I'm sorry, bottoms. And then I think it's one other way. Fellas, if you're gonna, you only want to see the tops, you don't want to see eight L's. No, don't. I think they're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> This morning, the salt selling has been put to one side as the lads concentrate on other priorities. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> what the hell is all that about? Is this not in preparation for the um, photo shoot? Oh, the track building muscles up in two minutes flat. Yeah. yeah he's on it. Oh, look at my little muscles. They're coming on, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> He's got his angry face on. Hey, oosh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Morning, Harry. How are you doing? Mr Walker, how are you? Bright right, start right, today. Yeah. Terry's friend Harry, a local press photographer, has agreed to help out. Well, let's crack on then, Harry. We're ready to rock yeah, and roll. Well. to see you do it. Yeah. The lot of people. No worries, you know, following the gaffer. Got your socks? Good. Nice then. You're feeling them, aren't you? <laughs> feeling a bit brisk. Bloody hell, I never thought I'd be doing this today. Cut the camera, please. Head up a bit. With the boss leading the way, the rest soon follow suit. It's cold. I'm not into this, man. I'm a shy guy. Why that glass? <laughs> With those on, it's not actually going to make it, is it? There's no way. Am I taking these shots? And what off? did I say to you? I don't know. What did you say? I said, do it discreetly. So yeah, you but it doesn't matter though. My ass cheeks are not being shown. Got a very bad rash on my bum, and I don't <laughs> want anyone to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody will see it. <laughs> but put your foot there again. Yeah. And bring that in a little bit. Well, seeing as he, he weren't up for it this morning, he's uh, doing quite well, isn't he? It's, it's funny. This is what this was trying to get some fun back into the place, and it's. It's working. Well, it's getting me laughing anyway. Not on this. Do, do the pink hair. <laughs> Fingers together, please. Thumb. Thumb together. Oh, that was fun there. That was absolutely hilarious. I couldn't even take my shoes off, so I've had, I've had shoes on with pink boxes over the back of an engine. <laughs> <laughs> it's not right, is it? I know. <laughs> Good job, I love you. <laughs> First thing in the morning, Freezing your nuptials off. You know, what, where'd you get that? Entertainment like that and scrap yard. At the end of the week, the yard will close for Christmas. There's just one more thing to take care of. Christmas party tonight. Feeling it, feeling it. I'm going to be right, let's do and unlike previous years, it's going ahead as planned. Last year we didn't have enough money to have a Christmas day, but this year, because we've done all right, we decided to have a Christmas get-together with the uh, Metro family. The staff do work really, really hard, so they deserve to have a little party, don't they? All right, John's come on with this lemony stuff. Let's just see what is good on that. Ooh. Buy it, that'll have it's gorgeous tonight. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Don't get me caught, are you? Come on, we'll keep them getting caught then. Staff look smart tonight, you know, you've at least seen them covered in oil from head to foot. And they all look really nice. Free beer, isn't it? It's made up for last year. If I'm honest with you, I'm glad to be part of the night. Whoa, you 
Are all these drinks mine? Nice one. Have you enjoyed yourself tonight? I have, yes. We're on I'm a over... winner. I am actually. What are you doing with me drink? I'm drinking it. Yes, I'm really happy with how tonight's gone. Yeah. Love you. Love you too. You need to sort your breath out. That's the onions, love. <laughs> It's the end of a challenging year for scrapyard boss Terry Walker, his business partner and wife Lindsay, and their 35 employees. Between them, they've salvaged over 6,000 catalytic converters, drained 40,000 litres of petrol, sold 10,000 cars, and crushed 7,500 tonnes of scrap. They've now got 19 tonnes of salt to shift, and 200 semi-naked calendars to sell. I'm trying to open it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I love this job. I would never see myself doing anything else. 21 years we've been here. It seems like seven. Yeah, have a look at that. Where is it? I'm not telling you, just have a look. <laughs> It's like a one big happy family here, to be honest with you. Enjoy. I will. Thank you very much, Deb. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> It's a good place to work. I love it. I love it, mate. A little present for you, Mara. What is it? Enjoy. <laughs> oh, oh, he's got Nish on. Oh, he's a brave boy. <laughs> yeah, you've got to have a bit of a screwless what we're here. Everyone has, you know what I mean? Better than anywhere else, anyway. I've never had a job anywhere else, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Could you actually imagine what this yard would be like if your dad did retire? It'd be a mess. Chris! There you go. I do look like a granddad, don't I? <laughs> it's a good calendar, isn't it? Yeah, it's good, man. I personally take my hat off to him, Al, cos I have never <coughs> done it. I'm proud of him, it's good. I will push him to back off a bit, or else we're going to be here till we're 90, if we live that long. I think Lindsay is probably the only one who could make him retire, or at least slow down. Metro till I die, that's me, you know, you know that. Oh, nel vieni colli di quella bellezza in